As you guys can see, we woke up at the gym today. I'm drinking our morning coffee. As you guys can see in the title, today is a very big day. Not in the mood at all. Didn't sleep slept like four hours, but we'll see what happens today. Today's episode is going to be about investing in real estate and not being a dickhead and spending all your money. So that one day you can be on this list as well. I'm going to be there next year. For all the bodybuilders that think bodybuilding is a sport, I challenge you to do 12 rounds of this. Well, boys, just finished training. And uh, as you can see in the title, today's episode is going to be about investing in real estate and how important it is to spend your money wisely and not like an idiot i mean if you think about it i started my vlogs my first ever vlog was of me buying a ferrari sf90 spider and that was like what 10 days ago and uh, today as you can see in the title we're going we're going to spend on real estate i don't know maybe half a million something like that i from what I want to sign today, I don't even know the exact numbers. I know that one has two bedrooms and two have one bedrooms. Two apartments are going to be finished now in March and one is already finished with the, it's furnished as well and has someone paying rent there. So all I do is just take the contract and start making money from rent. But uh, yeah, we won't talk a lot of details right now because we're a bit in a hurry to get there and sign the papers for the first two apartments but after that i'll explain more to you guys on how this works how you can make money from this how this is in my opinion the smartest way to spend your money rather than being an idiot and going to dubai and renting cars so stay tuned a lot of people think that Romania is this cheap, broke country, that no one here has money. Like we live with, uh, I don't know, sheep, cows. Like when we're going to buy the first two apartments here, this is one of the most expensive residential complexes in Bucharest. As you guys can see, like all the cars here are cheap, 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 cheap broke country and like we can go we can keep going another bentley there romania is not a poor country they market themselves as a poor country but these motherfuckers are rich as fuck like we have a new a euros here g63 amg here bentley there have to go directly sign the papers. I lived here actually, I lived in this building for I think one year, the penthouse here. So I already know everyone and everything here. And yeah, let's go sign the papers. It's funny that the elevators here don't they don't even have buttons they have the buttons outside like some rich people shit if you tell me boys i don't know who else is doing it who else is doing it go ahead right now sign two apartments and this complex we just showed you guys this is the biggest uh, luxury real estate development company in the country the third apartment i'm getting today which will be another place it's also good as well 
but I'll talk about this more in the car. These two are more like long-term investment properties. The third one is already furnished to rent it. I just take the contract and start taking rent money. So boys, one thing I want you guys to take in consideration is the fact that like if you have some money and you want to invest in something. I know a lot of people say, oh, real estate is a scam. If you rent something, you have to wait 15, 20 years to get your money back, blah, blah, blah. But this is just stupid advice from bro, bro people. Because how I see real estate is basically a resale game. Buy for 100, wait a couple of months, sell for 160, 180. Buy for 200, sell for 300 after one year. What you're doing is basically, you're taking the money that is inside the bank as numbers, digits. You can't even touch them. You can't do anything with it. And you're turning the digits into a physical apartment that you can rent, you can sell, you can live in. You can do a lot of shit with real estate. Uh, back in 2020, I believe, I was making very good money. And I had, I had money to buy a supercar back then. But uh, I don't know why I chose to go with the real estate route because everyone I knew, like all the connections I had, the people that have very big and good money, all of them told me the same thing, buy real estate, buy real estate, buy real estate. And I remember the first apartment I ever bought, I think it was 100K and with, with the VAT and everything, 100K. And I remember that I bought that apartment and after seven, eight months, I sold it for 135K. And in my mind, I was like, what the fuck? That's so easy, That's so good. And uh, you have other ways of making money with real estate when it comes to contracts, where you can buy a contract, let's say an apartment, this is 500K. To buy the contract, you need to pay 20% or 30%, it's usually 30%. You pay the 30%, you have to do your due diligence before buying it, of course, checking the development company, checking the papers, checking that everything is okay. And before, let's say you bought the contract 30%, let's say you pay 100K for the 30%. And you wait till six, seven, eight months, one year. And then before the building is done, before the apartment is ready to be so you can pay the rest, the 70%, you basically sell the contract to someone else because how people think, no one likes to buy air. No one likes to buy a project, you know? No one likes to buy vision. Everyone wants to see the apartment, see the building, and then, and then they buy. But they're idiots because this is when, if you buy the project and then you sell when it's done, there's profit being made in the middle and big profit depends on how good the project ends up to be. So yeah, boys, these are the papers we signed today. For anyone that says, oh, this guy is capping. This guy doesn't make that much money. He doesn't actually have real estate. He's not richer than my mom. He's not richer than my dad. Who else is doing it, bro? January is over. Bought an SF90 Spider, bought three apartments today, spent over one mil this month in front of you guys. Don't even calculate. The funny thing about the business I'm running is the fact that if you do everything correctly, you start making money very fast. It's a blessing and a curse at the same time. Throughout my years in this business, I've seen a lot of people make good money and then go back to being broke because the human being, when you make money easily, you tend to spend it recklessly as well. No one had the vision I did. No one was thinking the same way I was thinking when it comes to, okay, I'm making money right now. Let's break it down. 8% goes to 
investments for the future, 20% goes to personal expenses and what I need to live and scale, scale and take it up from there. For anyone that's interested in getting in real estate, a lot of people, they overcomplicate it. Everyone thinks that, oh, to get into real estate, you need huge sums of money. You need to be, I don't know who, you need to make crazy amounts of money so that you can afford that. It's, it's not, this is not correct because with real estate, it's more about finding the correct deals. Like the third apartment we're going to sign the papers for and buy today, it was, uh, I think the guy paid 120K to get it. And uh, in Romania, the parking spots are actually sometimes more expensive than people's cars. Like a parking spot here in a very good residential area will cost you like 20,000. And the guy bought, has, uh, he's selling the apartment, furnished, luxury furniture as well, with a parking spot and with, uh, I think it's a girl that's renting it right now. And she has a contract for another six, seven months. The guy is uh, Israeli, I believe. And uh, he needs money right now. He wants to leave the country. I don't know what happened with him and what's the issue, but I'm here to, help him out and help myself out as well. So we're going to pay 100K for that apartment with the full, the furniture. We take the, the rental contract, the, the parking spot, everything. And we'll start making money from the rent. And I see it going to 150, 160 in a year, maybe 16 months max with how the market is going. The money you invest in real estate, it doesn't disappear. Like people think when you spend money, the money just evaporates. It depends how you spend the money. If you spend the money on stupid shit, like getting drunk, taking drugs, going to parties, yeah, the money will evaporate. But if you spend the money, let's say the car and driving right now, the Rolls Royce, yeah, I spent a lot of money on this car, but the money is still here. Like I can go tomorrow, sell it and get my money back. It's just using your money correctly. One thing I don't get about these guys on Twitter that want to start with personal brand is like, okay, you want to start with personal brand. You want to film video content and you're filming with, a, with an iPhone, brokey. I think this is my fifth vlog, fourth vlog. I started YouTube one week ago. Already spent like 15K on setup. Camera we're filming with, the camera, this one right here. Lenses, microphones, I don't know. But like, you want people to invest in your product and you don't even want to invest in yourself. <laughs> bro keys, bro. <laughs> Apartment number three.